What about the area 100 KSA? How do we go about completing that in the course? Well, to recap from before, KSA is a cross-topic assessment and exercise tool allowing the student to develop competencies. The competencies are divided into core competencies and threat and error management related competencies. You will have to develop these competencies throughout your entire training, but we do the assessment as part of the theoretical knowledge course to be able to then put you forward for your ATPL exams. You will have to build competencies in communication, leadership and teamwork, problem solving and decision making, and situation awareness, as well as managing workload, applying the knowledge you've already learned, and showing recovery to upset and resilience. The regulation stated that we must complete minimum one formative assessment, practice assessment, two summative assessments, which combine as part of an overall exam result, and then one mental math test. How the assessments are conducted and the format is not fixed. It is up to the individual training organization. Assessments can be scenario planning or practical exercises. They could be oral communication exercises or written assignments, and they can be group-based or individual. Now to show as many competencies as possible in a single assessment, it is most commonly used at Mindspace X Aviation to do scenario-based group exercises. The instructor will evaluate how you contribute to the exercise, your communication skills, your teamwork skills, and all other competencies that are listed in the Area 100 KSA. The results are not instantaneous as the instructor will make sure that all the competencies are rated appropriately for the individual candidates. This was a short video on a specific topic. If you want to see the hundreds of videos we made available on professional aviation content, head on to our academy at academy.mindspacex.com. And don't forget to hit the like button and the subscribe button to follow us. We'll be putting up these videos regularly.